C-SPAN's local content vehicles are traveling the country, visiting congressional districts to look at the most closely contested House races in this year's midterm elections. You have the Republicans looking to get back into office. Well, here's one seat that they lost in 2008. If they want to get that, minor that majority back, or if the Democrats also want to hold on to that majority. So this is one of those seats where both sides say, hey, this is our Very seat. Different. In campaigns, you can make all the promises you want. You can promise lower taxes. You can promise balanced budgets. You can prom promise to bring our troops home safely, honorably, and soon. But when you're handed the keys to government, it's about choices. And what choices are we going to make as a nation to move our country forward, uh, working to help middle class families towards prosperity? Whenever you're losing a campaign, it's interesting what the other side does. I was told this about 12 months ago that you're going to know you're winning when the other side starts attacking so hard that you can't watch TV or listen to the radio anymore. And guess what, folks? That's where we're at. There are lemons. And then there's used car millionaire Jim Renacy. Renacy tried to avoid paying his taxes, attempting to shelter millions, forced to pay over a million in back taxes. But Renacy's trying to raise yours with a new 23% national sales tax on almost everything you buy, food, gas, even medicine, hitting the middle class hard. Jim Renacy, out for himself, not us. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. Our incumbent is the Democrat in the race, John, John Bocheri, and he, w he won the seat in 2008. It's a Republican, it was a Republican stronghold for more than 30 years. It was a Republican district, and looking to unseat him is the Republican Jim Renacci. He's a uh, businessman, a former mayor of the city of Wadsworth, which is part of the northern section here of the district. Well, the 16th district, it's kind of a unique district. A candidate has to, he has to be balanced, you know, he has to be able to understand the needs of a urban, pop, a heavy urban population, but also a rural population. One of the things that you'll find is the Republicans in advertising and speeches, they are in a way attempting to juxtapose John Bocheri with Nancy Pelosi. If you hear an advertisement for the Republican Party, you will hear that John Bocheri voted with Nancy Pelosi 90x percent of the time. The Democrats are focusing on, hey, we've gotten better the last two years, stay with us, whereas the Republicans are trying to label Bocheri as an out-of-touch politician. Congressman John Bocheri, he says he's independent, but who's his real boss? First, he was against President Obama's health care reform, but when Speaker Nancy Pelosi needed his vote, Congressman John Bocheri did it. In fact, 93% of the time, Bocheri voted with Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi can count on John Bocheri. What about us? The National Republican Congressional Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. I think that the Republicans are trying to maybe tap into the fact that people are unhappy with some of those votes, like health care, and I think the economy. I mean, there's. No matter where you're going to go in the 16th district, you're going to find a lot of unemployment. It's a heavy, heavy manufacturing area. We've lost a lot of those blue-collar jobs over the last 10, 20 years. No matter where, I mean, if you go to Ashland, if you go to Worcester, if you go to Canton, if you go to Wadsworth, you're going to find that same, a lot of unemployed people need jobs. And I think that, especially this year, they're trying to find that candidate who's going to help them get a job and help turn this economy around. Well, I'm retired. I've been retired since 2005. But my company, the Hoover Company, you make Hoover sweepers, has left Canton. And 15 years ago, they started going to Texas 10 years ago, not Texas, but excuse me, to Juarez, Mexico. So from 2005 to now, there were young people working there, husband and wives, both losing their jobs at the same time, losing their insurance. So in Canton, it made it devastating, those jobs uh, leaving here. And they're not coming back. Um, it affected my husband. He's a small business owner. Uh, he's had to let two people go. And um, uh, it definitely affected our son. He lost his job. He had four children. And um, it's just, it's affected everyone somehow. 
You know, you, everyone seems to know somebody who's been affected by losing jobs or, you know, uh, being taken from full-time to part-time, and uh, it's just, you know, it's just a mess. I mean, we know how hard it is sometimes to defeat an incumbent, so I think with Bo Cherry being there, this will be his second year in Congress. If, the longer he stays in, you know, the more familiarity he's going to have with those independent or those voters who don't always vote on a party line. So I think the Republicans, in a way, know that if they want to take this seat, this is prime pickings. I also think that too many folks in Washington run for office to get to the next election. Uh, they're afraid to take uh, positions because it might cost them their job. Uh, quite frankly, Washington's full of those, uh, th those types of uh, uh, congressmen. I ran for office not just to win elections, but to get things Second, done. If we all get out there, if we all talk to 10 people, 15 people, get out and vote, I mean that sincerely. This is going to come down the wire for all of us. Let's get out, let's vote, let's make a difference on November 2nd, and let's send some of these guys back home to their unemployment line, and let's get the government. <laughs> Leading up to the November 2nd midterm elections, we're traveling the country and visiting congressional districts where some of the most closely contested House races are taking place. For more information on what the local content vehicles are up to this election season, visit our website, cspan.org slash LCV.